what have you learned from launching and running Kama AI and Tiny Corp? So this starting a company from an idea and scaling it. And by the way, I'm all in on Tiny Box, so I'm I'm uh, I'm your. I'll, I'll I guess it's pre order only now. I want to make sure it's good. I want to make sure that like the thing that I deliver is like not going to be like a Quest Two, which you buy and use twice. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's better than a Quest, which you bought and used less than once statistically. Well, if there's a beta program for uh, Tiny Box, I'm into. Sounds good. <laughs> so I won't be the whiny. Uh, yeah, I'll be the tech tech savvy user of the Tiny Box just to be in. What have I in the learned? early days? What have you learned from uh, building these companies? The longest time at Comma, I asked why, why you know, why did I start a company? Why did I do this? Um, but you know. What else was I going to do? So you like, <laughs> you like bringing ideas to life. With Kama, it really started as an ego battle with Elon. Ah. I wanted to beat him. I, I, like I saw a worthy adversary, you know? Here's a worthy adversary who I can beat at self-driving cars. And like, I think we've kept pace and I think he's kept ahead. I think that's what's ended up happening there. Um, but I do think Kama is, I mean, comes profitable like and like when this drive gpt stuff starts working that's it there's no more like bugs in a loss function like right now we're using like a hand-coded simulator mm-hmm. there's no more bugs this is going to be it like yeah. this is the run up to driving i hear a lot of really uh, a lot of props for open pilot for a comma it's it's so it's, it's it's better than fsd and autopilot in certain ways it has a lot more to do with which feel you like we lowered the price on the hardware to 14.99 you know how hard it is to ship reliable consumer electronics that go on your windshield? Mm-hmm. We're doing more than like most cell phone companies. How'd you pull that off, by the way? Shipping a product that goes in a car. I know. I, I have a I have a I have an SMT line. It's all I make all the boards in house in San Diego. Quality control. I care immensely about it. So Actually, you're, you're basically a mom and pop shop with great testing. Our head of open pilot is great at like, you know. Okay, I want all the Comma 3s to be identical. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, you know, it's look, it's fourteen ninety nine. It thirty day money back guarantee. It will it, it will blow your mind at what it can do. Is it like, hard to scale? You know what? There's kind of downsides to scaling it. People are always like, why don't you advertise? Our mission is to solve self driving cars while delivering shippable intermediaries. Our mission has nothing to do with selling a million boxes. It's tawdry. <laughs> Do you think it's possible that uh, Kama gets sold? Only if I felt someone could accelerate that mission and wanted to keep it open source. And like, not just wanted to, I don't believe what anyone says. I believe incentives. Mm -hmm. If a company wanted to buy Kama where their incentives were to keep it open source, but Kama doesn't stop at the cars. The cars are just the beginning. The device is a human head. The device has two eyes, two ears. It breathes air, it has a mouth. So you think this goes to embodied robotics? We have we sell common bodies too. You know, they're very they're very rudimentary. But one of the problems that we're running into is that the comma three has about as much intelligence as a bee. If you want a human's worth of intelligence, you're gonna need a tiny rack. Not even a tiny box. You're gonna need like a tiny rack, maybe even more. How does that how do you put legs on that? You don't. And there's no way you can. You you connect to it wirelessly. So you put your tiny box or your tiny rack in your house, and then you get your comma body, and your comma body runs the models on that. It's it's close, right? It's not you don't have to go to some cloud, which is you know 30 milliseconds away. You go to a thing which is 0.1 milliseconds away. So the AI girlfriend will have like a central hub in the home. I mean, eventually. If you fast forward 20, 30 years, the mobile chips will get good enough to run these AIs. Yeah. But fundamentally, it's not even a question of putting legs on a tiny box, because how are you getting 1.5 kilowatts of power on that thing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So you, you need, they're, they're very uh, synergistic businesses. I also want to build all of Kama's training computers. Mm-hmm. Right? Like Kama builds training computers right now. We use commodity parts. I think I can do it cheaper. So uh, we're, we're going to build, I mean, Tiny Corp is going to not just sell Tiny Boxes. Tiny Box is the consumer version, but I'll build training data centers too. 